A dramatic new use for the laser. People with port wine stains, the problem made famous by former Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, can now have them treated and removed. Dr. Brian McDonough joins us now to talk about it. Well, Jill, depending on how big the problem is, how dark or how big the port wine stain is, the problem can be greatly improved. It all has to do with newer lasers that actually slow down the amount of time the laser makes contact with the skin. But meeting people for the first time is the is the hardest, especially as a kid, because you're very self-conscious about it. You're different than everybody else. Bob Hammond was born with a port wine stain extending from his face to his chest. And my parents kind of, from day one, explored different alternatives, and there, there wasn't much when I was born. It wasn't until he heard about laser specialist Dr. Eric Bernstein that he saw a light at the end of the tunnel. Bernstein admits his treatment is more the product of luck than design. Basically out of frustration and because I treat so many patients with poor wine stains, I was able to see what's not working and what is working. What's sunlight and what's laser. Dr. Bernstein works on selected areas. He zaps them with the laser. This destroys the blood vessels that can help cause discoloration of the skin. Thanks to a process called selective photothermolysis, these areas get just the right amount of heat. The modern lasers work as a flash of light. And the theory is the light will turn on briefly, kind of heat up what you're trying to get rid of, and then turn off before that heat spreads to the surrounding skin, making a scar. Bob Hammond is thrilled with the results so far, but says living with a port wine stain has taught him a valuable lesson. Ultimately, you're, you know, the friends that we made, that I made, and the people that you know, your family and friends, they don't even see it, you know, once they get to know you, so it's not a real issue. And there is other health news.